the top 10 best hacks ever pulled off by Anonymous. You've probably already heard of Anonymous, the world's most infamous group of cyber trolling hacktivists. They frequently make headlines for crashing websites and looting corporate and government servers. And the web's most notorious mischief makers hobble corporations, political organizations, and governments alike. Here are the top 10 greatest hacks. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Number 10. The Minneapolis Police Department After the brutal police killing of George Floyd in 2010, Anonymous published a video declaring war on the Minneapolis Police Department, vowing to expose their many crimes. As protests spread across the country over the killing, a cyber attack successfully disabled the police department's website in retaliation for the murder, making it inaccessible. After claiming responsibility for the attack, Anonymous released hundreds of email addresses and passwords it said had been stolen from the city. But security researchers believed 95% of the leaked information had already been revealed in older breaches. Number 9. Operation Tunisia Anonymous was everywhere throughout the Arab Spring, and one of the most well-known and significant operations occurred in Tunisia during the 2010 and 2011 revolutions, where key websites of the Tunisian government were taken down. Sites belonging to the Ministry of Industry and the Tunisian Stock Exchange were amongst the targets. The group claimed to have hacked over 2,000 emails belonging to Tunisia's ruling Anada party, including those of the Prime Minister. The emails included phone numbers, bank transactions, and invoices paid during Tunisia's election campaign, in which Anada won more than 40% of parliament seats, going on to lead the government. Number 8. H.B. Gary Anonymous unleashed their anger at an IT security firm who had been investigating their membership. CEO Aaron Barr thought he had unmasked the hacker hordes of Anonymous and was preparing to name and shame those responsible for coordinating the group's actions, including the denial of service attacks that hit MasterCard and Visa. The reaction from Anonymous was immediate and brutal. HP Gary's servers were hacked and its email system pillaged. But not only that, Anonymous tormented Barr personally, revealing his alleged home location and social security number. Just weeks after the hacking scandal that tainted not just his firm, but its partners, clients, and even the U.S. government, Barr resigned from his position. Number 7. Project Chenology In 2008, a video of Tom Cruise on a Scientology training video was censored on YouTube by the Church of Scientology. Infuriated by the censorship, Anonymous posted a video titled Message to Scientology, stating that they regarded Scientology's actions as internet censorship, and they intended to expel the church from the internet. They said they were opposed to Scientologists' speech suppression tactics, which they claim include frivolous lawsuits and the use of copyright and trademark laws to silence free speech. This was followed by distributed denial of service attacks, black faxes, prank calls, and other measures intended to disrupt the Church of Scientology's operations. The anonymous campaign against Scientology, better known among its participants as Project Chanology, continues to this day. Number 6. Operation Payback What began as a friendly fight quickly escalated into a full-fledged internet war. Aplex Software, a private anti-piracy firm, launched a series of distributed denial-of-service assaults against multiple pirate sites, including the Piracy Bay, in 2010. Anonymous then retaliated by launching a wide-ranging assault against pro-copyright and anti-piracy organizations, including law firms, lobbying groups, the United States Copyright Office, the Recording Industry Association of America, and KISS's own Gene Simmons. When financial institutions began freezing donations to WikiLeaks in December, the campaign expanded to include other causes. When the dust settled, 13 members of Operation Payback were charged with felony offenses in federal court. Number 5. Operation Free Korea While North Korea was threatening others with nuclear annihilation, Anonymous took the fight online. The group hacked the China-based North Korea-controlled website, yurimanzukori.com, and seized control of the organization's Twitter and Flickr accounts, stealing over 15,000 membership passwords. They also published a wanted poster of a pig-snouted Kim Jong-un with an image of Mickey Mouse emblazoned on his chest, accompanied by a manifesto and a series of demands. 
the president of North Korea's resignation, the establishment of democracy, the abandonment of the country's nuclear project, and unrestricted internet access for its citizens. Number 4. Operation Mega Upload One of the main concerns that come up time and time again is the free distribution of information and entertainment. Between 2005 and 2012, Mega Upload was one of the most popular file-sharing platforms on the internet. In January 2012, the U.S. Department of Justice shut down the site due to copyright violations and detained four of its employees. Anonymous then retaliated by launching a distributed denial-of-service attack against several government entities, including the Department of Justice, the Copyright Office, and even the FBI. Entertainment groups like the Universal Music Group, the Recording Industry Association of America, and Warner Brothers Music were also among the companies attacked. The so-called denial-of-service attacks, which flooded those sites with junk traffic, came less than an hour after Mega Upload was shut down by the FBI. Number 3. Bank of America In 2011, a member of Anonymous released a cache of internal emails from a Bank of America-owned insurance company, proving the too-big-to-fail financial institution engaged in mortgage-related fraud. The emails allegedly came from a former employee and revealed the bank's corrupt and unfair mortgage practices, such as improper lending. Years later, Anonymous then leaked a massive amount of data allegedly belonging to Bank of America, which indicated the bank was running an intelligence gathering operation to spy on the hacker collective. Having a team on staff to protect a corporation from potential cyber threats is nothing new, especially if you've been a target in the past. But this isn't what caught the attention of Anonymous to begin with. It was the methods being employed by Bank of America to gather data. Each of the 500 plus emails leaked reads like a surveillance report, most of them reporting on the activities of online activists from Anonymous to Occupy Wall Street. Number 2. Russia-Ukraine Cyber War Anonymous has been bombarding Russia with cyber attacks since declaring cyber war on President Vladimir Putin in retaliation for the invasion of Ukraine. And of all the cyber attacks carried out since the Ukraine conflict started, an anonymous hack on Russian TV networks stands out. The hack was captured in a short video clip which shows normal programming interrupted with images of bombs exploding in Ukraine and soldiers talking about the horrors of the conflict. Anonymous has also defaced Russian websites, stolen government data, and caused general disruption and embarrassment. Number 1. Operation Sony In 2011, Anonymous declared war on Sony after they claimed the Sony vs. George Hotz lawsuit was an attack on free speech. You see, Hotz was the first person to hack Apple's iPhone, allowing anyone to use the phone on networks other than AT&T's and he later became the first person to run through a gauntlet of hardcore defense systems in the Sony PlayStation 3 and crack that open too. So, Hotz is a pretty well-known figure to the hacker collective, and his arrest ticked off some hardcore group members. In retaliation, Anonymous launched a series of attacks against Sony, bringing down their website and the PlayStation Store, resulting in the largest security breach of its kind to ever hit console gamers, exposing over 77 million user accounts, and an event with huge repercussions for PlayStation. This wraps up the 10 greatest hacks ever pulled off by Anonymous. What are your thoughts on the hacker group? Are they good or evil? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because we upload videos every week. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.